They'd be happy in there, they'd be happy in there. If you're dancing on this table, we can act like we can. But we're not gonna stare, cause it's not the way. Massachusetts, they bring the original, the OG Dankwood fans. So OG, the show doesn't start for another hour and a half. These people have been here since noon. I'm sure you've seen Dan Cook live before. No, I haven't seen him live. Never? No. And you I own the DVD awesome? though, so watch it probably hundreds of times. What's your favorite Dan Cook bit? I like the one where he talks about his brother working at Burger King. Oh, the, the chocolatey drink, the Doom. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, no, the Monopoly. No. Monopoly's the best. Favorite stand-up comedian, I'm telling you right now, Dan Cook. Heartfelt, heartfelt. <laughs> These are some serious fans, I'm serious. Like, this, if there was ever a comedy mosh pit, this would be the city to make it happen. I was the vice president in my class, so me and the president decided to go around and get signatures of kids in our class, saying that if Dane didn't choose us, that, he would, that we would all drop out of school, <laughs> basically. And so he chose us, so we're here, and Dane said we had to get good grades, so. It's funny because we're in the final few days of the tour. Mm -hmm. I think that more than anything, like because we know it's ending, the last few shows are going to be even not not better, but like we're just we don't want it to end. So mm -hmm. it's like uh, you know, there's that feeling of like, oh wow, you know, we really got to blow the doors off. I mean, I know you have a lot of passion to any show, mm -hmm. but knowing that what happened here with the sophomore class and how these kids just really were like, yeah, it's adamant about having Dane Cook at their school. I mean, <laughs> something I really should have told you. I forgot to even tell you this. Um, we had an open house here a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Right? Building. Prospective students, they've been accepted, they haven't made a decision yet. We heard at least eight kids saying, Dane Cook, can to be here? We're coming to school here. That was it, they made a decision based on that. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that's necessarily wow. the best way to make it. your decision. However, uh, wow. we're not arguing, so we're happy that they chose it. So. That is uh, yeah. that is quite uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. So I think maybe yeah. we'll. Am I going to be in the brochure now? Could very well be. <laughs> <laughs> Page eight. <laughs> that's I remember when you and I had. Are like a, one of our first real conversations about comedy, and I remember I told you, don't think of it as a crowd. Stop calling it the crowd. It's people, people who get up, get babysitters, get gas, drive their car, pay for parking, pay for valet, come into a room and sit. It's individuals. It's people. This has been the time of my life, being a part of Torgasm, being a part of I think a legendary comedy tour. To be a part of that, I, I'm sorry, it's going to be over. Oh. So uh, I'm single, I'm trying to get in shape. I'm working out at this gym in Hollywood, which is a little weird, because there are new dudes in my locker room. No matter what time of the day I go there, the same three naked guys walking around in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come on, guy, get a life. So what I like to do now when the new dudes are lurking that area, I take my belt, I take my belt, I lock myself in the bathroom stall when the new dudes are lurking that area, and I do this now. It's a lot of fun. Ah, ah you're hurting me, Rocco. Ah, I don't know if I want to spot you anymore, dude. Ah, you're hitting me in the back of the neck. Thank you guys very much. Cocky douche. Let's keep this thing going. Put your hands together for Mr. Robert Kelly. scared cool. No one's like, boo! What's up? <laughs> That's why I don't like horror movies. You ever see a horror movie? It's bullshit. They never show people getting scared the way we do in real life. Some monster jumps out. <laughs> no, 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 you never see that. It's always some cool white guy like, oh my God, run! <laughs> if you ever want to scare somebody really bad, this is the best. If you're ever in a car at night and there's a red light and there's a car in front of you, sneak out of your car. <laughs> and sneak up to their window. <laughs> Just be like this. Because <laughs> they don't even know, right? They're just sitting there like,
That's all my time, everybody. Thank you so much. You guys have been great. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Woo! You guys ready for your next comedian? Put your hands together for Mr. Gary Goldman. Come on, let him hear Mr. Gary Goldman, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody. Wow. Wow. Ever drive by one of those things on the side of the highway that tell you how fast you're going? One of those things? I don't even pay attention to them anymore because I found a similar gadget in my dashboard. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need a second opinion, but thanks, Department of Highway Safety. I'm going to go with my onboard speed telling machine for now, but thanks for the heads up. Some people slow down at those things. You don't have to slow down. It's just a sign. It can't chase you. I don't slow down. I think I, I speed up and set the high score. This thing's almost over, baby. Almost over. Very close. One more time for Gary Cohen, everybody. I think you might know who I'm bringing on the stage right now. Please put your hands together for Mr. Dane Cook! For me, it's like therapy to go up on stage. It's home. That is home. I'd like to put a bed there sometimes and live there. I could wake up and just take the mic out. I feel so safe. It's good to be home. It's fucking great to be home. All right, thank you very, very much. Woo! Thank you guys very much. I had to come here because I didn't want 800 sophomores dropping out. I, 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 I did not that want, want that on my conscience. So many things in this world that I've wanted to do. I love doing stand-up, but there's other things that I wanted to do, other jobs and, and things that I wanted to participate in. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a cop. That's what I wanted to do, yeah. I wanted to be a police officer. Serve and protect, not one or the other, both. <laughs> I used to walk around my house, I had a denim jacket, I put a little walkie-talkie right on there. And there's nothing to report, but I'd still be like, dad's drinking out of the juice carton again, that's a big no-no. <laughs> I did my cop walk, you always have to do the cop walk, that's like this. I love licorice. <laughs> I got a little bit older, I realized I didn't want to be a cop. First of all, here's the thing about cops, they love their fucking siren. Too much. The, especially the new siren, I can't stand it. They drive around with a I hear you! Yes, you're coming! I heard your mega mix 19 minutes ago, you fucking disco. <laughs> All right, R2! <laughs> How about those cops in Arizona? They shot at a guy 11 times because they claim the guy had a grenade. That's why they shot at him 11 times. The guy was eating a pear. How do you fuck that up? Unless he was eating a pear like... <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Pittsburgh. Unbelievable, thank you. Big Sioux Fire right there. Have a great night, and thanks for having us. I'm really happy for Dane and proud of Dane, but at the same time, I feel like an extra. It was really nice of him to bring me along and everything, but he really could have done it without me. But I've had a great time. I didn't think I'd last through the entire thing. I, th I thought I would last a week and then go home, but... Uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I can see the finish line, so I'm very happy. What's up? How you doing, man? This whole thing has been amazing. I'll do it again in a second. 2007, we've been spreading the word that Dane Cook might be coming to Fitchburg State. If he does not, we will resign, and all other FSC students will drop out. Okay? <laughs> I've given these kids a future. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dad, I can get that piece. Come on over. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's not over yet. There's more tour left. There's two more shows. 
that, that's thousands of people waiting. Headaches, wonderful opportunities. Tourgasm is still, in my mind, day one until we're done. You know, you know, you know.